What's up guys, Steven Ducks here. So today is a very important day. I just got my account statements verified by certified CPA from Bahamas. And I did post this on Twitter. I did get a lot of uh, positivity and some negativity as well. So today I'm gonna address negative. <clears throat> so today I'm going to address and answer some questions about all those negativities. And uh, let's get into it. Before I get into this audit statements and uh, a lot of people are having questions like, where do I start? Well, how do I really trust a guru? How do I really trust this guy? Uh, before you wanna subscribe or buy in somebody's courses, make sure they have like a correct or really good track record and uh, make sure they show you his performances and he show you the odds, the statistics that this pattern will work. Before buying somebody's or any type of courses, make sure that you do your own research and uh, trust your own judgments. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, there's gonna be more content coming into the future. So this is my first step to getting audited by other CPA firms. I'm not very familiar with all the relationship between a trader and the firm. So this is one of my, I would say very important step to get into all those audited firms as well. And I did contact some bigger firms like PwC, Detroit, and all those people that they only work for companies that is over 100 million. So if they do like a auditing services for a per year, and they will cost anywhere between like 300,000 to 350,000. My track record is already getting verified by Bahamas because my trading account is from Bahamas. I do have other trading accounts and I'm trying to get them verified as well. The first question I get from people are, well, you did an interview with other people before, you never had some red month or you never had green month. It's because I, you have multiple accounts. I don't only just have one. When you are short sellers, you need a multiple account to be able to find shares to short. Sometimes you are trading, let's say first red day, you're looking for a swing trade, then you are expecting to hold shares for a couple days. That also means you want to find a broker that give you really good overnight fees. Now, sometimes trade zero, they charge times seven fees for overnight. That means if your borrow fee is 1,000, holding overnight will be cost 7,000. If you are expecting a holding about, let's say two to three days, then it's going to be turned into something 20,000, 30,000. That will straight overwhelm all your profits. And in this case, having a broker like Cobra, they charge much less um, overnight fees. Having a broker in uh, Speed Trader or Centerpoint, they, they all charge much less fees compared to uh, Trade Zero. So if you're looking for like an intraday trade, then Trader will be the best for like shorting availabilities. That's the reason why I have multiple brokers. This is my first step getting into the auditing. So I just verified the Trader performances. Um, and a lot of people are start already hating on, oh, you didn't really verify other track record. You said you didn't have a red month in 2018. And you said you can't make about two to $3 million per year. This account is I specifically started with a really low amount of money. That means my starting positions or starting account size will be 25,000. Now it took me about 19 months to grow this 25,000 to $1 million. Well, gross profit will be $1.2 million minus all the fees and stuff like that. It's probably anywhere between like 900K to $1 million. So this is the first thing I wanna show people that I turned 25,000 into 900,000 to $1 million. And there's gonna be more track record will be verified just by having a bigger accounts because I build my bigger accounts into other brokers, not just in Trade Zero. So there will be more verified account statements auditing coming, so just stay tuned. If you have any questions about this auditing, you can leave a comment below. I can try to answer your questions as best as I can. Now let's get into some of the questions that people left in the last video about the 2018 tested split account statements. So right here, the most frequent questions I get is, well, Steven, I understand that you started with a 25,000 and you have three 25,000 accounts. Now, two 25,000 is considered as a backup account. In the April and May, I lost in between 55,000 plus the 4,000. And that's in between like 60,000. So I have 10K left. The reason why I split counts into multiple parts is because when you are tracking a statistics, when you are tracking a pattern, there's always a winning percentage. Let's say a pattern has about 80% winning percentage and there's about 20% losing percentage as well. There is a chance that you can lose 10 times or 100 times in a row 
even though your winning percentage is 80%. So that means you can land in that 20% 10 times in a row. In April, May, and June, I did land into all those type of patterns. Now, I did have some wins, I did have some losses. In June, I re-managed my risk, and so the losses will be much smaller. Then I uh, still focus on the same pattern, and as you can see, the pattern worked out really well. I started generating like 50,000 or close to 50,000 in June, almost 50,000 in July, 175,000 in August. Took a loss on September, about 80,000, and October, and November, and December worked out really good. As I said, for this specific trade zero account, it's not my full buying power account. That means it's not released to the full potential because I have a relatively smaller account compared to the bigger account that I have. For all the purposes for this specific account statement is to show you it's possible to turn, you can save 25,000 into 630,000 in gross profit, or you can say turning 75,000 because there's two 25,000 backup account into 630,000 in gross profit and 550,000 in net profit. And a lot of people are asking, well, if you're a short seller, there's going to be fees involved as well. And uh, I did uh, pull out all the fees and plus them together. Uh, there is actually no statements that shows that. So you have to go into like each month statements to find your borrow fees and add them up together. So overall, on um, 2018 will be around 50,000. So the net net profit after minus the fees, minus the, uh, the borrow fees, minus everything. The net profit that comes out will be 500,000 in 2018. So basically I used 75,000 split into three accounts, turning into 500,000 by the end of the year. Uh, only cost about eight months. Hopefully that makes sense. Ah! So as you can see in 2019, the overall profit got much bigger and the losses got bigger as well. I only had about three red month, a lot of months are green. In specifically March, you can see there's a negative 143,000. Now there's a lot of stuff going into it. There's like boxing positions with other accounts, but in March, I did trade a lot of shares back and forth. Actually, in March, I couldn't really tell if I was in green but, or red, but overall, I think in March, I don't think I lost money. By October, the net profit will be 550,000, pretty similar to 2018. The performances using 2019 compared with 2018, 2018 was a little bit better. I think 2019 was a little bit sloppier. Because of that March, I boxed the positions, so the net profit, I would say, is anywhere between like 600 to 620,000. On 2019, I think the borrow fee was anywhere between like 50,000 to 75,000. The overall net profit between 2018 and 2019 is around $1 million. This is the first step to getting my performances verified. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. So that'll be the end of the video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys next time.